This video goes out to the Pisces that survived their spiritual transformation while ascending and experiencing the dark night of the soul on top of having a nervous breakdown. 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 There really are no words to describe what you've just been through, but it was needed to get you firing on all 12 conscious cylinders, functioning as one. This transformation wake-up call was like dying alive Witnessing decay of your old aura, rotting off the nature of your being. And although you had to limp to the finish line, nevertheless, you did it because you did not give up on yourself. Congratulations, Pisces. The worst is behind you. Please believe that. Moving forward won't be a skip in the park, but rest assured it won't be anything close to what you just came out of. Moving forward in this new energy, you will notice your emotions and how you feel about life has quieted down to a level that is now in your control and your wisdom has risen to a level beyond what it once was. Unfortunately, Pisces, you had to experience the lowest form of your powers and what effects it had on you in order to know how to use your powers in its highest form. Experiencing the negative effects of your powers first was a blessing in disguise because that era of your life is over with. You can only play the cards you're dealt with and up to now you had been playing with a half of a deck. Your spiritual transformation wake-up call was designed to make you aware of the other half. You were born a Pisces for a reason and the fact you're watching this video confirms that. You're seeking information that can help you better understand yourself and or confirm what you already know. Reading books and watching videos like this are only tools, but you must decide what tools to purchase with your attention that best works for you. What you pay attention to, you are always purchasing that feeling. And what you think, what you feel, and what manifest is always a match. We all have different upbringings and experiences, and what works for one may not work for you. So when you hear or read something that hits the soul spot, you know that's for you. There is value in your own personal life experiences, and don't ever compare your experiences to anyone. In your life experience is your own personal key to unlock the door to your desires and your true happiness. This video is only a tool to help you discover your own key. It's your responsibility to know your own spiritual clock and what makes you tick and talk. If you're one of those Pisces that have not received your spiritual transformation wake-up call, this video may not resonate all that well to you. But for the Pisces that have been through it, you know what I'm saying is real. The Pisces energy is the hardest energy to master due to the blend. The blend causes you to naturally function on a deep level on almost every damn thing. Everything about you is deep. You feel deep. You think deep. You fear deep. You love deep. Your imaginations are deep and your emotions run deep. Before your spiritual transformation wake-up call, your deepness was functioning more of a curse than a blessing. Your spiritual transformation wake-up call, regardless of how painful it was, was designed to put you on your ass and force you to pay attention to you and only you. With each day passing, you're gaining clarity on how the blend flows in you. You're no longer willing to pay the price by going against the wave of your intuition. You now know it's best to go with the flow of your intuition willingly instead of going unwillingly because you're going regardless. Your spiritual transformation wake-up call had to hurt you deeply to make you aware of the negative side effects of your powers. And once this spiritual storm was over, in a twinkle of an eye you found yourself in healing mode. All you knew at the time is that you wanted nothing to do with anything that smells like drama, trauma, manipulation, and bullcrap. While in healing mode, 
You took that spiritual sword out and started slicing, dicing, and cutting people out of your life like a bad habit. It got good to you, and you probably had to go back and get some people. They say many are called, but few are chosen. And not all Pisces are chosen to obtain this level of growth at this particular space and time. If you are one of these chosen Pisces, you're not all that thrilled about it due to all the hell you have been through. All you want at this time is peace, while getting your bearings back that was totally demolished in that spiritual transformation storm. Light is knowledge, and knowledge is living conscious energy, and energy is fuel that powers something. Pisces embody all the zodiac signs, conscious energy operating as one, and it's time to get firing on all 12 conscious cylinders and start living the life you so desire. To get there, you must truly love yourself and be unapologetic about it. But in reality, you can't truly love something you don't understand. And the Pisces energy is the most difficult energy to understand due to the blend. In the astrology world, they say we all have other signs of energy in different placements of our chart, but what they don't say, Pisces, is that you are all the signs of energy, regardless of where it's placed on your chart. You embody all the signs of conscious energy blended together as one. When an astrologer interprets your chart, he or she blends the meaning of each planet, the house it's in, and the sign it's in, to map the obstacles or gifts you'll face in this lifetime. But what if you're all the signs of energy blended together as one? Can that type of energy truly map out? Let me let you in on something, Pisces. You're rocking on some godlike energy in human form. God is the creator of all, and you embody all signs, conscious energy blended together as one. If that's not on some godlike energy, I don't know what the hell it is. Granted, half of your powers have been lying dormant, but slowly and surely. Your powers are being activated due to your spiritual transformation wake-up call. Now, that doesn't make you better because we're all bound by the spiritual and physical laws and principles of creation. But when you truly know yourself and are firing on all 12 conscious cylinders, functioning as one, now, that is some advanced conscious power right there. But keep in mind, to operate on that level flawlessly, it could take three to five lifetimes. But if you're one of those chosen Pisces, you have the ability to skip some shit and go straight to the goodies. It's time, Pisces, to get back in the game. But this time, you'll be playing with a full deck. Not trying to rush you, but the sooner you get back in the game, the sooner you will shake off the old residue of your energy. Because you will get tested. Being tested is the only way you will discover the changes and begin playing the game with a full deck. The wise controls the strong, the strong controls the weak, and the weak controls no one. That's the world we live in. Pisces, you are naturally wise due to the blend and really not interested in controlling people. But prior to your spiritual transformation wake-up call, you've been playing this game of life with a half of a deck and still manage to score functioning on that level. But playing this game with a full deck is on some godlike energy and nothing less. Check out part two of Pisces, your true light warrior. The link is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching, something to think about. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.